So my name is Ron Atali of All Life from SizeUp. And SizeUp helps banks empower their small business customers to make smarter decisions through data. Now we know that banking small businesses is a challenge, and one of the reasons is because there's so many and they're so different. Now some banks will take the approach of a one-size-fits-all, right? So as if small businesses are all just one thing, but that doesn't work. Other banks will take an approach of taking a few industry verticals, perhaps manufacturing, retail, or services. But even within these categories, the businesses are so different. At SizeUp, we take a very different approach. We take a data-driven approach, and because we do this, we can provide information on over a thousand industries, and we do this by bringing data from millions of different businesses, so that we're able to provide hyper-local data down to the postal code level and custom and personalized analysis for each one of your small business customers. So think about it a different way. We're not saying you're a retailer in Colombia. We're saying that you're a florist in the Poblado neighborhood. We understand your situation, and let us tell you some things you might not even know about your own business and industry. I'll show you how we do this using an example of a public website at wellsfargoworks.com. So let's say that you are a shoe store in Sunnyvale, California. It's just a suburb outside of San Francisco. You can enter in some information you'd know off the top of your head, such as the amount of revenue that you have. So in this case, we we'll say that you have revenue of $789,000. What SizeUp does is it super crunches millions of data points so that we can compare your shoe store, specifically a shoe store, to all of your competitors. So you can see that your shoe store underperforms compared to other shoe stores in your county, metro, state, or the nation. Down below, we have a heat map. This heat map shows us the areas in red where our shoe stores are doing the best, and yellow where they're not doing as well. This is valuable because if I'm thinking about opening up a second shoe store, or if I want to visit the shoe stores that are performing so well, my competitors to figure out what they're doing in those areas, or perhaps target a marketing campaign. Let's look at another variable, the year started. So if we started our business in 2009, we can see that we're in a growing industry. The line's going up. If the line was going down, we'd understand we're in a declining industry, and we'd want to make different decisions about our business. Or salary, are we paying our employees more or less than our competitors? So in this case, if we pay them $25,000 a year, we're paying more. And here we can see the areas where salaries are the highest. <clears throat> or how about the size of our business in terms of the number of employees? If we have eight employees, of course we're a small business, but as a shoe store, we're actually a big small business. So this whole idea of what is small, we can start to drill down and understand. Now, there's a number of other variables. I'm not going to get into all of them. We don't have time for it. But within just a few minutes, you can enter in a little bit of data, and we click on the summary view. And now we get a dashboard of our business's performance. And I understand this is what I'm measuring. This is my, this is my business's specific situation. And I don't need to have an MBA or have a background in quantitative analytics to understand that red is bad and green is good. It's designed for small businesses, even if they're very unsophisticated. Second feature of SizeUp helps you find potential customers, suppliers, and understand your competitors. So let's say that we're a beauty salon in Beverly Hills. Now we can see where our competitors are. So for our beauty salon, we're going to focus on fashion models. So we want the talent agencies to send them over to our, office, or to our beauty salon. We'll make them beautiful, and they'll get more work. So in an ideal world, we have a situation where there's not a lot of competitors, but plenty of customers. And I can visualize, I can see in red, this is where there's a lot of competition. But I can also, just using my eyes, see there's a concentration of green where there are customers. So this might be an area that I want to target my focus for my business. There's a third feature of SizeUp, and this helps us optimize our advertising. So let's say that we're a dentist in New York City. Just knowing those two things, we can actually see the areas where dentists are doing the best. And you can see it's just south of Central Park. But maybe we want to do a different type of analysis. We want to find the most underserved markets. So now I can see it's in the neighborhood of Astoria. Or we can create filters. So for example, for our customers, maybe we want to target households with less income. Now we can see that it's Harlem. So these are the three key features of SizeUp, the ability to optimize advertising, find customers and suppliers, and benchmark my performance versus my direct competitors. So SizeUp helps across the entire life cycle of a business, from start to growth. 
And this provides an opportunity for your bank to introduce your products and services at each of these key moments. So you could identify a potential customer before they've even become a business. Or when they, when they are starting, you could offer them a small business loan. Or as they grow, you could offer them a larger line of credit. Or if they have to have more stores, you could offer them a real estate loan. So banks like working with us because, as I, I mentioned, we can introduce products and services. It can be designed for customer acquisition. It can be designed for customer retention so that this is a service. If you want it, you have to be a customer of our bank. Also, the data changes all the time. We're always, every industry, businesses are going up and down. So we're constantly changing that data. And you can send a message to your customer saying, you're doing better, you're doing worse. And if they hear that, they're going to click through, come back to your website, and that's an opportunity for engagement. This can also be used by your relationship managers in branch locations to help their customers. Sites up used by a number of great organizations in the U.S., the Small Business Administration, uh, U.S. White House at uh, usabiz.gov, Bloomberg Business Week used it as part of their small business toolkit, Staples. I showed the example of Wells Fargo Works. In the spring, we launched uh, in partnership with Deutsche Bank and BCSG in Europe. So in summary, what makes SizeO special is we have industry-accurate, hyper-local data, and these are tools that regular small businesses can use. Right? It's for everybody. And we align it and customize it to your bank's business objectives. So we're a software as a service. We do customized engagements with banks. We scale based on need. And then we grow it so that all of your customers can use it. We are growing internationally, as I mentioned. We, this spring, we launched in Europe with this project uh, with Deutsche Bank and BCSG. But now what we're really excited about is the opportunity in Latin America. Because through this tool, we can close the digital divide that separates small businesses from the type of information they need to survive in an information economy. So if you're an innovative bank that's interested in partnering with us to bring this technology to your SME uh, customers, and you want to be the first in your country to do so, let's talk afterwards. Thank you. Thank you.